What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a smooth spin transition or blur transition or spin blur transition or whatever you want to call it. It's basically a spinny transition. Right, so I've just imported my media here. I'm first going to drag them straight onto the timeline by just selecting them both and dragging them on. Now they're both a couple of clips from Keswick, you may have seen them in other tutorials before. First I'm going to cut the video down just to where I want it. So I'm just going to have that little part at the beginning, I don't need the rest of this clip. And for this clip, I'm fine with the way that is, so I'm just going to put the two clips next to each other for now. Now guys, this is going to use the Sapphire plugin, so if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, I'd recommend getting it. The link will be in the description below. Now if you have got the plugin and you're following along, you want to first go to Video Effects. You want to scroll down until you find S Blur Mo Curves, here it is. And you want to just drag the default onto both of the clips here, like so. Now I'm just going to zoom in here a bit on the timeline just so I can see things a bit better. Then going into the effects of the first one here, the first clip I should say, you want to follow along with these settings. So the first thing you want to do is wrap X to reflect and wrap Y to reflect as well so they're both set to that. And then the main thing we're going to be using is the rotate feature. So you're going to want to click the animate button here. This allows you to create some keyframes and like it says animate it. So because this is the first clip going into the transition, the animation is actually going to be at the end of the clip. So if you move all the way to the very end of the clip here with this little cursor, create a keyframe at the end and then count back eight keyframes using the left and right arrow keys or in this case the left arrow key so one two three four five six seven eight create another keyframe now i'm just going to zoom in on the end here so we can see things a bit clearly or a bit more clear so once you've created your two keyframes you want to click on the very end one if you double click you'll get this little bar here you want to type in 180 so that's 180 degrees and because we're going to 180, this means it's going to be a clockwise transition. If you want the transition to happen anti-clockwise, just put in minus 180. And then on the second clip, you'll do the opposite of what you've done here. So what I mean by that is, we've put 180 on this clip. So on the second clip, we're going to do minus 180. Before we do that though, we want to right click on this end keyframe and do fast fade. And then the one beforehand, do slow fade. And then you can close this window off. And if we have a little play at the end of the clip. You can see it spins there. It is quite quick. We might have to do some adjusting of when the frames occur. But that's okay for now. We'll move on to this clip. So clicking on the event effects here. So to start off with we're going to do the exact same thing for this clip. We're going to choose the wrap X as reflect. And we're going to choose the wrap Y as reflect. And then we want to animate the rotation. And now from the very start of the clip here, or the start of the timeline, we've got a keyframe there already, and then I'm going to count 8 along, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then create a keyframe. I'm going to zoom in once again a little bit. Now double clicking on the first one, I'm going to type in minus 180. That's because in the first clip, we put positive 180. Like I said, if you want it to be an anti-clockwise transition then just do it the opposite way around so the first clip is at minus 180 and the second clip is at 180 so then with the first keyframe here you want to right click on it choose fast fade and then the second keyframe slow fade then we can close that off and let's have a quick look at it and you can see it does the transition really well now one thing we can do to improve this a tiny bit more is if we get the tracks here and we just overlap them a little bit by a couple frames and then play the clips we can see that just makes it a lot smoother and even better than it was before so that's how to do the smooth pan circular rotational rotisserie chicken transition thing <laughs> but that's it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy i hope it did help it's quite an easy transition to do once you understand how it works and it's quite a quick transition to do as well remember like i said if you don't have the sapphire plugin click the link in the description below you'll be able to get it there and hopefully you can incorporate this transition into your edits tell me how it goes tell me if you've got any issues as well and i'll try and help with that but that is it for this video guys so thanks for watching i hope you did enjoy remember a like subscribe do all them things if you want to see more tutorials on vegas 16 then just subscribe to my channel because I've got new tutorials coming out all the time. But that is it, guys, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.